Hey, what's going on? Benji Kaiser here, and thanks for tuning in to this video today where I'm talking to Sterling Grinnell about how to start a freelance photography business. So if you are into photography and you really want to kind of start monetizing it, Sterling has a few tips to help you guys get started. And if you're curious about Sterling's work, you can check out his website or his Instagram handle in the description below. So Sterling, what do you got for us getting started? Yeah, man, this is going to sound dumb and really obvious, but the best way you can get started in freelance is to literally get started. And a lot of people don't know what that exactly means, but when I first started, I got a camera, a Sony a6300, and I just started shooting my friends and asking them to go out, hey, do you wanna go out and shoot? And you know, just started shooting everyone that I could. Um, and that's really a, a really big key to it because part of your work, that part of the first, you know, some of the first jobs that you get are your friends or your friends of friends and stuff like that. So if people don't know that you're a photographer, then that is going to make a difference in, you know, whether they are going to hire you or not. So when people, you know, think of you, they need to be able to see on your social media, like, oh, you're a photographer. Um, and that comes down to having work to show. So getting out there shooting, sometimes that means doing really cheap jobs. Another thing that is really helpful getting started is second shooting for other photographers. Um, that's one way to build a network as well as like, if you're not really sure how to do this or how a wedding shoot goes, you can't really probably do that on your own. Um, but start shedding, second shooting for people is another really, really big way to get started in the industry and get moving in that direction and start making some money. So one thing that happens I see there is like, you're tagging other people, other people are noticing that they have like these really nice pictures on their Instagram and they're like, okay, where did those come from? And then you can tell like the people you take pictures of like, hey, just throw my tag in there or let them know like that I shot, so give me some credit. So you can start to really blanket out your work in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was something that I had originally done. When I had started doing this, I was at a, at a college and what I kind of did was pinpoint certain people that I knew were like, popular people, I would pinpoint them and message them and be like, hey, I want to do a photo shoot with you. And I had enough work to where they respected it and said yes every time. And I would say, okay, the only my stipulation is like, give me credit for everything and like put me in the comments, tag me in the photos, like everything. And so I narrowed out a few people that were key that I knew were had a big following in the school. And I shot probably four or five of them. And by then, people knew my name and knew me as the photographer. And like people would walk up, hey, you're the kid that takes pictures. And I was like, yeah, I guess so. Like, that's me. Um, that's so, awesome. Yeah, that's super key. Not bad. Yeah, so it was something that I had done that helped me build a name quickly. And from there, I've gotten, I guess, from the school and their connections, I've probably gotten four or five jobs just from, like, you know, well, someone at the school knew who I was, had seen my work, follows me on Instagram, and they have a friend who's getting married and can't find a photographer. And yeah. so it's just building that. That's the biggest way you get you get, um, you know, hired as a photographer before you get, like, published in magazines and kind of stuff yeah. is word of mouth. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's the best way to get out there. And if everyone sees like, oh yeah, I have a photographer friend, even people that don't know me are like, hey, you know, I've seen your work. I saw you around a school or whatever, whatever. So that's a really big thing too, is just getting out there and start putting out work, work with models, collaborate. That's the best way to, you know, just get your name out there. Yeah. What about like, uh, also kind of like a, like one business tip, something that you've learned that's helped you really like in a business way, be a successful freelance photographer. Yeah, I guess that would just be know what you're worth um, and that's kind of a hard like obviously that's something that everyone would like to know but you have to shoot a little bit to know what what amount of time it takes you what your work is worth that kind of thing I guess that's part of it because pricing is hard because when I first started I think I, I shot some portrait sessions for like 50 or something and then now they're they're starting at 400 so it's 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 hard it's really hard when you're starting to like know where to start you know getting work but the best way to do that is start cheap and then just raise your prices until people aren't buying from you. And that, no, maybe <laughs> yeah. no, until, until where you're like, okay, well, that's weird. I'm getting contacted every day because my portrait sessions are $25. So finding <laughs> a balance of like, or you can shoot one portrait, portrait session at 400 and equal 16 of the others, you know? So there's a balance there and that's hard to find, but price yourself properly and even work for free at the beginning just to build a portfolio and build that collaboration. Yeah, and if, if, and if you love what you're doing, if you love photography, working for free is an easy thing. Yeah. You know, it's, it's something that you should already be doing. You should already be out there shooting. You shouldn't wait for somebody to show up and pay you to shoot. Um, yeah. Absolutely cool. I think those are super helpful tips for anybody getting started as a photographer. Those are actionable steps you can take today. You can get out there right now, start collaborating, get on Instagram, contact those people. Also, as far as when you charge, how much to charge. So if you 
you're curious about how to find Sterling, I'm going to attach, like I said, his handle and his website in the description below. Go ahead, check that out. Um, he's got some great work on there. And uh, again, I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. If you've yet to subscribe to the channel, please do. We put out daily videos here on the channel, keeping you informed on the graphic design industry and things surrounding it like photography, video, etc. So I'll see you here on the next episode.